said what I said. I want to play a conversation that you had on your podcast back in September with Mace. Mm -hmm. Listen. Yeah. When you had your record mm, deal, why did you take me to Biggie Smalls and not um, Bad Boy? Man, it's almost going to bring me to tears to say this. I just, being that I saw you as, as such a good friend, I wanted to put you with somebody I knew with. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. A lot of people ask me that on Instagram, yeah, I knew man. Don't have me instantly. just out here crying and shit, man. I don't want to get emotional knew, in here, man. Instantly, I knew Biggie would, would do right by you. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I mean, is there um, is there something known in the industry about how Diddy treated his artists? So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. Um, I'm just going off what Mace said. Mace took me to Biggie. I don't really know Puff is like Mace no Puff. So I appreciate what May said. And of course, uh, that's my brother. So if he felt that way, then he felt that way. I can't really tell you how Puff moves or anything like that. Mace may know better than me because he was signed to Puff. I wasn't. But my show does come on at 8 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. It's called It Is What It Is. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. I mean, I might get some more information out of Mace from there. But for me to tell you mm. how Puff acting and all that, I don't know. I never was signed to him. Yeah. What about the industry in general? I mean, so many people have pointed out that Diddy couldn't get away with this stuff if there weren't a lot of people protecting him. Do you think that's the case? Who the talent agent for this joint? Like, you think I'll be sitting around watching what Diddy do and all this? I didn't know this was a Diddy joint that all invited me to. Yo, who, yo, who booked me for this joint? All right. I'm wilding. I don't be sitting Cameron. around watching Diddy and all that. Yeah, thanks man, come on, man. Thanks for crazy. joining us. Thank you for your time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yo, thank, yo, thank you for having me. You enjoy. The boy Cam must see TV, man. He hilarious, man. <laughs> he don't hold back no punches, man. That's why I show called It Is What It Is, because it is what it is with him, man. He ain't playing around. Like, he looking at it like, look, man, y'all not going to get no information out of me. But he jumped on because it was a play on, hey, let me get my so it is what it is, some attention on CNN. I bet a bunch of people, more people than normal tuned in to the episode, you know what I'm saying, at 8 a.m. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He got the horsepower drop. He said he was getting some cheeks, you know what I'm saying? So he got the horsepower, the, uh, horsepower drop. So now that's probably doing some better numbers. I mean, it was just a good strategic marketing play, man. And I got to give, I got to give Killer his props, man. And man... That man's smart. He a good businessman. You know what I'm saying? But in my opinion, I thought it was just all jokes and hilarious to me. I don't feel like he was making light on the um, whole Puff um, P. Diddy situation or whatever. I don't think he was making light of it. He just really ain't trying to be talking about that because he got stuff going on in his life. Everybody talking about Diddy right now. So he like, man, listen, we got life goes on. We got to move forward. You know what I'm saying? And all that. So me personally... I thought that was real, real smart of him, strategic of him, and a good way to get his brand out there. Smart man, man. Smart man. It's a top flow. Top flow show. <laughs>